<laughs> there's every enemy and everything dies in one hit and it's just and there's kind of some fun things like you know blood shopkeeper just dies yep. and like uh you know certain bosses you just throw your dagger and keep going i think i think my favorite tempo thing is if you can trigger the um sacrifice shrine with the boss you just get three piles of gold <laughs> <laughs> that is good i don't know if i've ever seen okay. it we'll talk about tempo later. that's very funny diamond right now yeah and of course, we've seen Tough Diamond many, many times. I'm very familiar with the Diamond Slime. Slimond? It's, it's, it's such a good sprite. That would be the portmanteau for that. And oh, these diagonal moves just make me so happy because it's just these itty bitty efficiencies. Because of course, this is a uh, non Pythagoras <laughs> diagonal. Non yeah. It's yeah. like D&D. Your diagonals and your orthogonals are the same. Hmm. And uh, that's fun. I think that makes for some interesting uh, efficiencies. Now we're going to go full glass here, which is pretty good. Glass longsword diamond is very good. I think I approve of Civ keeping the uh, I, miners, though. I like what Civ did in general. You're at, you probably want the cap anyway, so you activate the shrine to get in the glass shop without needing a bomb. Oh, yeah. And then you still, you still have the bomb to kill. Right. But now we're playing two different seeds, so let's go. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good point. All right, there's a uh, shovel swap for tough. Not going to check that. Maybe a food shop. And Civ going to be about a death metal fight ahead. Cap is spooky. Ah! I don't know. I don't know if it's spooky. Because you're, you're just so much better than the enemies as Diamond. That's the other thing that's great. Is like, yeah, you can just attack them diagonal. They can't do that. Well, most of them. You're just better than them. Oh, but the harp. Harp is even better. Oh, and the pink shovel. Okay, tough. This is a, this is a build. It's a scary one, but it's so good. So an eight damage uh, harp build for tough with the pink shovel. So we're seeing Meanwhile, shovel Jim versus hack. Darkness. Oh. <laughs> okay. This is going to be a fast one. I hope you guys like Diamond because uh, it's about to be done. Uh, we're going to get a ring swap. Yeah, piercing. Oh, that's, that's pretty, pretty good. That's pretty solid, yeah. You just got to watch out for the floor hazards, which is not hard to do because Diamond is amazing. You can just avoid them very easily. Not much for Tough there to write home about. So it's just going to keep going with the same build. Uh, he took... Oh, no, he already had the piercing. No, that was where he got piercing. Oh, piercing you're right. Really he good. got piercing. Yeah, well, piercing's really good. Yeah, you're right. You are correct. Yeah, because you don't have to worry about diagonal dashing Blade Masters. Well, a lot of it is, like... All of my problems with Harp come when I hit something and then it's, like, gets knocked back or something, and piercing prevents basically all of them. Oh, that's true. Because you just kill it it's yeah, it's like any of the riders. They just evaporate. Ooh. Yeah, like riders are tough. H-plate, though. That's a one-bomb H-plate. I would I would have killed glass. for that. Yeah. yeah. I think I agree. Oh, Although, heavy glass, maybe, you, you could just be good enough to not get hit. And I think uh, um, Tough did get hit. Tough got hit. <laughs> yeah. Okay, well, what are you trying just, to say, just Craig? Just be good enough to not get hit now. That's all you need. Yes. The call-out. Okay, Azuma special. Uh, we are in a very scary situation for tough. I think you try yeah, to get is... off the jaw. I well, but know. I mean, do you have time to get off the nope. jaw is the problem? Well, no, I guess not. Guess not. Oh. <laughs> I feel like there was that, I think the it, heavy glass was, was what yeah. needed to happen there. Yeah. That was a little tragic there for tough. And Siv having a shot at redemption here. Siv uh, losing, I think, to Spooty earlier. So uh, could take a point for their team. Confused diagonals. Yeah, that's the thing. That's really hard to deal with. I think that weapon swap is a really wise one for Sivir. Yeah. No, no matter when you're on glass, like there's a chance that you're going to potentially just die zone five just has so many enemies that it's really easy to break your glass and they're really hard to get yeah because they're all just standing on it <laughs> mm -hmm. 
Get up. Oh, that diagonal Ooh, nice. snipe. I love it. Yes. That was awesome. Sniping the minibus on the stairs. That was cool. Oh, I like tough here taking the uh, the map, knowing the pink shovel's coming up. Mm -hmm. Pretty wise. I was hoping Sim was going to be a little careful there after I saw the hits. Just deep blues, and with the three damage, you can basically shoot up the middle and then run over and kill him. And that's it. Diamond is yeah. a fast character. It's GG. Five minute run. Siv takes it. A death there from Tough, and Siv's gonna put a point on the board for the red team. Now it is five to four. We're nine characters through. And yeah, Siv taken, taken one for the red team. Next up, we got Tempo. And as we were sort of talking about before their crate, Tempo is infinite damage. Um, you want pre-gen because there's just enemies everywhere. But of course, the major factor about Tempo is the 17 beats you have. I think it's 17, right? Before you die. It says 16, I but so. I think yeah, you have like you one get, more. I think you get to act on the zero. I don't know. I'm counting too 